Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 19. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is going to be all about five minimalism mistakes to, that you can leave behind in 2021 and hopefully not make them going into 2022. So the first mistake that I'm going to talk about today is going to be the maybe pile or the put it in a box and see if I use it in the next couple of months and if not I'll then declutter it pile <laughs> because that for me is like is not very helpful when it comes to decluttering and you know being more minimal because first of all you've still got all that stuff in your vicinity and secondly if it's going in a maybe pile then it's almost definitely going to end up being decluttered because I can almost guarantee if you put something in a box and put it away and it's out of sight you're going to forget about it and you're probably not going to miss it you're not using it anyway because it's stored away in a maybe pile so I would highly encourage you to just if you are going to put things in like a see if I use it box or anything like that definitely set yourself a deadline like one week two weeks depending on what the item is but maybe look to just be a bit more ruthless and set in a yes or no pile and that's that. So the second minimalism mistake that I want to touch on is how you're actually decluttering your stuff. I think the default setting when it comes to decluttering is donating and while that is absolutely brilliant and you know going sending your stuff to charity shops for a second life is really really great but what I will say is a lot of charity shops and thrift stores and all that kind of stuff are just overwrought with items um, that they, they can't even shift themselves. So I think before you look to donate something, definitely see if a family member wants it. I've given so much stuff to my sister and my parents over the last year. One person's loss is another person's gain and they might really get a lot of use out of something. So definitely ask around your friends and family first before you declutter something to see if they will want it and be able to give it a second life. And also like maybe try to look to how you can repurpose the item or how you can like upcycle or reuse it. The third thing is to avoid thinking that minimalism is all about physical objects and like the stuff because minimalism is so much more than that. It's a mindset and it's an attitude to life. It's more about being intentional with how you spend your time, how you spend your money, what you spend like the time thinking about and how you want to live your life in a more simple way and yes a lot of that comes down to you know how much stuff you have around you and um, the less stuff you have the more intentional you can be about using them and, and all that kind of stuff but it is definitely more of a shift in mindset that you want to focus on because Yes, you can declutter all your stuff, but if you haven't changed your mindset or your shopping habits or the way you consume ideas and things, then you're just going to keep making the same, the same mistakes. Like, you could declutter half your wardrobe, but if your mindset hasn't changed, then in a few weeks' time, you'll probably go out and just buy a whole new wardrobe and you'll be back to square one. It is absolutely something that I'm working on personally. I'm absolutely not perfect at all, and I... I've got a very, very, very long way to go on my minim minimalism journey and really changing my thought process. It's definitely a practice in patience. Um, but my next tip would be to accept that minimalism looks different to every single person. So what minimalism is for me is going to be like completely different to you or anyone else that you follow on online because it's as I said before, it is a, it's a mindset thing and it's not about how much stuff someone has. I actually had a comment on one of my makeup infantry videos and the person said, this isn't a minimal makeup collection. Um, and I said, you're right, it's not a minimal makeup collection. It, I still have far too much stuff in my collection. But as I've said in so many of my other videos, it's more sustainable for me and more economical to get use out of the stuff I already have rather than decluttering them. I've already spent the money on the makeup and I would much rather get my money's worth out of them and keep, I keep hold of them for just a little bit longer so that I can completely use them up 
and not just declutter them or throw them away because that would be a, a waste. But yeah, it's also important to remember that everyone is at a different stage along the minimalism journey as well. So I'm quite near the start, I've only been sort of more intentional for the last 18 months. Whereas some people, uh, this is their first week of sort of discovering min minimalism or they've been minimalist for like 10 years. So uh, what I'm going to look like in 10 years time is going to be completely different to what I look like now in terms of what I own, um, what I use, what I get value out of. And you know, people have children, I don't have children yet so they're going to have a lot more stuff than I do so it's really important to just bear in mind that everybody is on their own journey and what minimalism looks like for me is going to be completely different to you. I've said this before but there are certain areas of my house that I have a lot more stuff than probably other people do so I have a lot of books on my bookcase because I love to read but I get use out of them. I have quite a, a lot of clothes still but I am working on getting towards a more minimal wardrobe and you know for you it might look like something completely different you might have loads of candles that you like to collect and that's absolutely fine the last mistake is one that I personally made and that is I it's just in my personality to when I discover something new I just go all in like I get obsessed with stuff and I just want to absolutely throw myself in the deep end and just want to do it every single day so when I first discovered minimalism I, I was like right I want to declutter every single area of the house I want to declutter every day I want to get rid of you know blah 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 and while that was good in some ways it definitely gave me a big kickstart into my journey it's probably if I look back it's probably more responsible and more sort of long lasting to just slow it down a little bit and just do it over a slower period of time that way you're less likely to regret anything that you declutter um, and also it's just a bit more of a sustainable way to go about things so if you are just starting out then don't do a me and go on an absolute rampage take it easy and go maybe room by room and do it over a period of weeks rather than a few days and you know really be not only just intentional about the stuff that you want to use but be intentional about what you're going to let go as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video or you just liked listening to it and I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you togmorrow for another vlogmas video.